Howdy, Mike McCoy here. Warmed up a little bit today. Turned out to be a pretty day. Got my green shirt on. And somebody said they're going to buy me a shirt. All I ever wore was this old green shirt. Well, I've got like three of these things. Me and mother is uptown there. I think the name of the business was Hamrick's clothing store. They had a big sale going on. I'm kind of heavy and it's hard to find shirts that'll really fit me. And they had a good sale, I think like $6 a piece or something other. And I bought every three extra large they had and like three of them was these green ones. And I like them. I think they look good. But I, I'm wearing them a lot in my videos because I've got three of them. And I've got an orange one and a blue one and three green ones, I think. But anyway, that's the story on the shirt. But if you don't buy me a shirt, I take it. I never turn, I don't turn down clothes. <laughs> Everything seems to be going good. I always get nervous before I have to go to the doctor. I, I just see a doctor saying, well, you're going to die, you know. So far, you ain't. <laughs> Maybe you won't tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I, I do dread that. That feller, I sold the feller a big slab of wood and he tried to pay me and he's going to come back and win again. I said, no. I told Mary, I said, well, what if they say I've got to have radiation Wednesday or something? I like to be prepared. I'm like a boy scout. Maybe Wednesday I can do some more sawmilling video. I ain't done nothing in a while, but everything's been so crazy down there at the mill. It's hard to film and do all this stuff. But I'll get back and swing the thing, hopefully Wednesday. I've got to cut some four by sixes and some one by tens and twelves. I'm going to have to buy some pine logs. And I'll guarantee you I'll have to pay out the nose for them. For it's been sweating. None of these boys have been able to get in the woods. And all these bigger mills are paying a premium for them too. So that's the way it goes. If everything is cheap, I'd be rich. <laughs> Don't know when you're just going to get a video of us saw it. It ain't looking good. My help called me a minute ago and said, I ain't going to be able to make it yet. My lawyer ain't showed up. <laughs> I may see him Wednesday. I may, he may be in jail. I don't know. Uh, he seemed enthusiastic and he did call me and tell me he couldn't make it. So that's, that, you know. That keeps me from getting too excited. <laughs> it's it's uphill struggle. <laughs> and uh, he says, he's like a good old boy. I've never met him. My neighbor down here knows him pretty good. And he says he's a real good guy, you know. <laughs> we'll know more about him. Maybe I can get him on film. I don't know if he'll let me film him or not. But hopefully we get Solid Wednesday. Mary Ruth, she's mother, she's wanting to stack some lumber, so she'll knock the war edge off of him and stack some lumber. That's hard work. But yeah. And I'm almost there. I'm like within four subs of having a thousand. Didn't think I'd ever live to see it. Didn't think I'd be excited about it, but I am. And I've got so many people to thank. I thank all you subs. I really do. Each and every one of you. I truly appreciate it. It's humbling. It's mind-blowing that there's a thousand people that want to subscribe to my channel. It, it absolutely is. When I started this thing, I thought if I could never get a hundred, that'll be more than I'll ever deserve. And... To be perfectly honest, I owe Logger Wade a lot. I mean a lot. For when I put that video out, Logger Wade's life, I went like from 50 to 300. Just kaboom, you know. There's like a thousand people looked at. I mean, Logger Wade is just clickbait. <laughs> and then I put that about meeting him the other day. And uh, I think it got me probably 40 or 50. I can't remember now, but it got me money. And Cotton Top, Cotton Top 3, he mentioned me. And I, I met Cotton Top up there at the Paul Boone. Cotton Top's a good guy. And he mentioned me, and that's, that's been a big help. 
and Stevie Billows. Stevie, he he's mentioned me a time or two, and that 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 got me several subs. And uh, I've been several more. Uh, I know I'm missing people that's mentioned my name and helped me. And uh, Ben Sawmill, he was on live feed the other night, and he mentioned me, and that that probably got me ten right there. But it it's amazing this a big YouTuber mention you mention your channel it'll get you some subs. And I appreciate it. I really do. And Logger Wade Wade's been more than generous. He really has. He you know, a lot of these bigger YouTube creators, they they're real protective of their channel and they ain't gonna endorse another channel, they ain't gonna mention another channel. And I, I guess that's all right, you know. They just, that's where they are. <laughs> Wade don't care. I mean, he he he's went out of his way to help me. And Wade's a good guy. Stevie's a good guy. Cotton Top Three. Uh, Logger Brandon. Thank a lot, of Logger Brandon. He won the knife and the shirt from Cotton Top, and they they couldn't be a more deserving feller. Logger Brandon is a good boy. I'd like to see him get. 20,000 subs, he deserves it. He, he's sincere, he's a young man, he gets out and he works hard. He, any young person in this country, he'd be a good to look up to for now, that boy's got it going, you know. MSL logging, same thing, he's a good guy. Works every day. Uh, they're all good. This channel has got some of the finest people I've ever met in my life. It's, I guess you'd call it the logging sawmill community or whatever. Uh, me and Alex escaped. We're friends. We we sat on a bench up there and talked to Paul Bunyan just like we'd known one another all our life. Thank a lot of Alex. Stump Jumper. Can't say enough good stuff about Stump Jumper. Nuts 319. Skitter Kel. And I know I'm missing a bunch. I mean, it. these are just some really good people that go out of their way to be nice. Cutworm59, I think he was the first person to ever sub to my channel. And he works on old cars and stuff. And if you, if you like to see people that works on old cars, check Cutworm59 out. And he is a good guy. What you see, there's what you get. He, that's this cut one. Jerry Rose of Stringworks. Fixes old guitars and stuff up. The man is amazing what he does. Can't say enough about these people. And then these big channels that don't know I exist, like Les Dig, A-Bomb 79. All of them's got over 100,000 subscribers, and they, they put out good stuff, and it's well worth watching. A bomb seventy nine. He's a machinist, and he's re he's to me he's a young man. He's born seventy nine, so you know. <laughs> but they, I, I've really run across some good people on this YouTube, and and the ones that like me, uh, I really appreciate it. I do because I'm not a smart man. I, I mean. <laughs> never claimed to be a smart man if I was I'd be a millionaire and you know but I am stubborn I don't give up easy I ain't got a whole lot of quit in me but uh, and I like to think I'm living proof if you come up in this world with just jerked up by the hair of your head about like I was try you you at least get by you know and i never did have no desire to be rich just to be perfectly honest with you i'm back where was we at i've lost my train of thought we may just have to start out and do it oh i was talking about you know not being the smart sharpest knife or the sharpest saw on the truck and that's me I mean, I'm a home light in the world of husk of artists and steel, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, you don't have to be super smart to make it in this world. You just got to 
be bullheaded, not quit, not let people run over you. And uh, you know, you can't be stupid either, but you, you know, you can take common intelligence and get by pretty good. Some of the some of the most well-off people I ever know don't that smart. They're just too stubborn to quit. You know. Ain't how many times you've been knocked down, it's how many you get up. Keep that in mind.